any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Now, obviously, if you went back in time to like the medieval medieval Europe and you like showed some farmer peasant an iPhone and how you could just Google anything, they would probably just call you like a fucking witch. <laughs> they would call you a witch bro and just take you and like hang you or something or burn you. <laughs> and but like if you think about that, Himia, if you taught if you went back five years and you told me or you told yourself five years ago that in five years you would be able to just type a sentence into a computer and it would generate an image no one's ever seen before, you would probably just laugh at yourself. Like, how, that not that fucking weird though? You're literally, you can now type a sentence into a computer and it will just generate an image. That's crazy. So all this AI stuff that's happening recently is honestly amazing. I mean, some people don't like it, but you can admit it's kind of amazing what's happening and how fast it's moving but i don't think people actually realize the extent of like the future of what the future is going to look like with all this ai stuff right like i don't think people are really thinking about it fully and i'm like obsessed thinking about ai and thinking about the future and all the predictions so i've been thinking about this a lot and w when you think about ai and artificial intelligence when you're thinking in terms of the future there's two terms that come up a lot. Artificial general intelligence and artificial super intelligence. These are two terms you will hear when people are speaking about the future of AI. Artificial general intelligence or AGI is basically when the AI is as good or better at humans at a wide range of tasks. So as essentially there's some uh, like AI chatbots now that are better the, at programming than humans probably, but they're not better at like everything humans can do or a wide range of tasks. So AGI is when the AI can do a wide range of tasks, all these different things as good as a human, if not better. And you know, some would argue we already have AGI. Some would argue that's like ChatGPT. I don't know. The funny thing is, is like if you asked most researchers like 20 years ago, about artificial general intelligence, I think you'll find most of them probably predicted we will not see it in our lifetime. There were like a few who predicted we would see a artificial general intelligence around this time, but most of them would have said no. It, it would be like in a hundred years, not in our lifetime. But at this point, with all the AI advancements and like the new chat models coming out, GPT, new chat GPTs coming out, blah, blah, blah. At this stage, if someone announced they had AGI, artificial general intelligence, like next year, it wouldn't even be that surprising at this point. <laughs> like it wouldn't even surprise me. And essentially AGI is like a mini God. That's kind of what it is if you think about it. I think Sam Altman, the guy who is the CEO of OpenAI, you probably know him. He like, you know, OpenAI created ChatGPT, right? You probably know. And Sam Altman said, AGI, I think if I'm correct, he said AGI will be able to create a million dollar business by itself. So that's the kind of capability AGI will have. I think it can improve itself. I'm not sure if that fits the definition of AGI, but it may be able to actually improve itself and learn like a human does. So when we like it discover AGI, we've basically created a mini God at that point. <laughs> and that's definitely coming within like at least five years, bro, at the latest. Five years at the latest, we will have AGI, if not like next year. <laughs> and so that's basically a mini God. And so, so I'm not like gonna pretend to be an a AI researcher. I don't really know shit about that, but when you talk about AGI, you can kind of make predictions about it, right? You could say like all video games are gonna be created by AI or there's gonna be AI created movies with sound and stuff like that. And there's gonna be AI NPCs in the future that remember you and can act in the game. You can make all these predictions about AGI, right? That's kind of normal. And obviously you may not agree with them, like you'll have different predictions. Maybe you think none that will happen. But the point is you can make predictions about AGI. And personally, I've been making AI predictions for ages, bro. Like I'm kind of obsessed with it because I've been following this stuff 
ever since the best image generator was like some random fucking Russian website that was trying to copy OpenAI's image generator that they hadn't even released yet. <laughs> That's how long I've been following the AI stuff and the image generation and all that crap. So yeah, you can make predictions about that. But the thing I mentioned earlier, the other one, artificial super intelligence, ASI, I suppose. Um, that's just a whole nother story, bro. <laughs> Artificial super intelligence is when the AI is more intelligent than the brightest and most gifted humans. So you think of the smartest guy in the world. I don't know who that is, but the guy with the biggest IQ or the most creative genius ever, the smartest person in the world cannot be smarter than artificial super intelligence. We don't know how soon artificial super intelligence will be here after AGI, but it'll probably be here pretty quickly after AGI is achieved. So think that's an AI that's smarter than the smartest human could be. And so that means when artificial super intelligence is discovered, that's kind of like when the predictions stop. I mean, I, I predict a lot of things. I've always made predictions about the future, bro. You know, there's people who make a ton of predictions about the future, but you can't really predict anything that will happen after artificial super intelligence is achieved. And the reason we can't make predictions about that is because since it will be smarter than the smartest human, that means it can come up with things that we couldn't even comprehend before we had artificial super intelligence. I'm talking about if you could find out new laws of physics or crap like that, I don't even know about that stuff, but if you could find out crap like that, at a rapid rate, artificial super intelligence would be the thing to do it. I'm speaking, it would literally be able to find out new laws of the universe that humans could not even comprehend, bro. And I don't think anyone's really, I mean, people, a lot of people are talking about this, but it's not really entered into the mainstream conversation. You know what I mean? So I was thinking, and I saw a comment about this that got me thinking about it a lot. Someone said under a post about artificial superintelligence that if there was a way to speak to spirits and ghosts, like if ghosts were real, right, but we just don't know it yet, the one person or the one thing who would be able to communicate with dead people is artificial superintelligence. And I, I know that that kind of sounds like retarded, but that kind of sounds stupid or a bit extreme, but that's the kind of crap I'm talking about. Like, what if it was actually possible to create like a portal that teleported you, right? What if it was actually possible to create a teleportation portal, but we just couldn't yet because we couldn't comprehend the laws of the universe and the laws of physics that allowed us to create that. But artificial super intelligence will be able to figure out new things humans couldn't even comprehend. And this is why the predictions stop after artificial super intelligence is achieved because things are going to get fucking weird, bro. Things are going to get really, really weird. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think people realize like we, we can't comprehend what's going to happen after artificial super intelligence is discovered or created because it's going to start coming up with stuff like we didn't think about. I know I'm just repeating myself, bro. I know I'm repeating myself, but it's weird as fuck. So <laughs> just let me know what you think of this. Let me know what you think of the whole AI thing, actually, because I know I probably have very different opinions to you and like a lot of other people on AI. So let me know what you think about it and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Like the video, that'd be appreciated and subscribe. I know you're already subscribed though, because you're like a G bro. And join the Discord in the description. Join the Discord.